Hey friends, welcome to the Graceology with Gwen Smith podcast. I'm Gwen Smith, and I'm really glad you're here. Each week I host two different shows, one with incredible guests and meaningful conversations, and one called A Moment of Grace, where it's just me talking to just you in a reflective devotional style to help connect those busy, bruised, and broken places to the beautiful hope of Jesus. So now I invite you to sit back and take a deep breath as I share with you a moment of grace. The bedrooms of my children house more memories than a library full of books. The door frames have been gateways to relationship, access points of intimacy, invitations to community. Over the years, the space between each threshold has fostered fun, friendships, frazzled feelings, and family. It's been a meeting place of life and love, an incubator for growth, depth, conversation, and dreams. The floors have held dance parties, dirty clothes, disciplines, and daily drama. The air has held honest whispers and lingering lullabies, screams and songs, prayers, promises, and plans. Those spaces are places of misunderstanding and tantrums, of teaching and reaching, of decorations and celebrations. Beautiful dwelling places of knowing and being known. Psalm 84 echoes this type of warmth, joy, and depth of connection in the sacred space of our Savior. Psalm 84, 1 and 2 says, How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty! My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Trust is built. Burdens are shared. Barriers crumble. Tears are caught. Blessing and strength abound in God's presence. Hope, favor, and good things are found. Verses 4, 5, and 7 of Psalm 84 read, Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. The holy dwelling place of God is incomprehensibly eternal, yet simply accessible with just the whisper of his name. Almighty Lord, gracious Father, loving King, Jesus. The CSB version of Psalm 8411 states, For the Lord is a sun and a shield. He grants favor and honor. Other versions say he gives us grace and glory. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly, from those who live with integrity, from those who do what is right. By grace, you and I are invited to dance at his feet, walk the streets of gold, and join in the worship that rises continuously before his throne. God wants an intimate, personal relationship. So do I, so do I, so do I. One day in his courts, in the beauty of his presence, is surely better than a thousand elsewhere. And Psalm 84.12 finishes with this beautiful promise. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Let's pray. Holy Lord, you are glorious and good, gracious and kind, worthy of all praise and honor. Your presence is a treasure of strength, protection, and abundance. My deepest joy comes from knowing you and being fully known by you. Help me to live with integrity and to trust you more each day. And remind me to run to you with everything, especially my love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you enjoyed today's moment of grace. I encourage you to read Psalm 84 today and spend some time in responsive prayer. Who do you know that would enjoy today's episode? Why don't you open up your podcast app right now and send it to your friend? And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode. And be sure to connect with me on social as well. I'm at Gwen Smith Music on every platform. And the show is at Graceology with an IE on every platform as well. Now get out there and have a beautiful grace-filled day. <laughs>